The Church of Scientology, renowned for its elusive and combative nature, consistently veils its operations from the public eye. Our initial assumption was that unraveling the Church's doctrines and their positions on social issues would be akin to navigating a complex, unforgiving labyrinth. Surprisingly, on the surface, they appear quite transparent, readily sharing their beliefs and stances. However, beneath this facade of openness, there lies a distinct undertone of insincerity. This discrepancy becomes evident when contrasting their polished public statements against the frequent leaks that expose a contrasting narrative about their leadership's actions and intentions. It's essential to recognize that religious belief, particularly within the Church of Scientology, is led with complexities that extend beyond internal controversies about doctrine. What is officially preached often diverges from what is practiced, adding layers of ambiguity to the Church's creed. This complexity allows followers to interpret and practice their beliefs in distinctly personal ways, making any definitive statement on the Church's doctrines increasingly elusive. As we delve deeper, it becomes apparent that the Church of Scientology leverages its robust online presence to project an image of openness and doctrinal flexibility. On their official website, they address numerous inquiries about their beliefs, notably claiming a liberal stance on personal morality and the absence of a rigid dogma concerning God. However, the reality might not be as accommodating. The Church's reputation for enforcing stringent rules and a rigid hierarchical structure often contradicts this outward liberalism. Moreover, testimonies from former members highlight a culture where deviation from the norm is met with severe repercussions. Within Scientology, the notion of divinity is anchored in the belief in a supreme being, a vague entity without an official portrayal, or defined expectations about the afterlife. The Church advocates for personal spiritual enlightenment, encouraging adherents to form their own perceptions of God and the afterlife. Uniquely, Scientology allows its followers the liberty to honor other deities and celebrate different religious festivals, reminiscent of the religious inclusivity practiced by ancient Romans. For instance, a Sikh Scientologist is free to wear a turban and adhere to the Khalsa, a Muslim Scientologist may observe Ramadan, a Christian Scientologist can celebrate Christmas, and a Jewish Scientologist can avoid pork, all without conflict with their Scientology beliefs. This ethos of tolerance is embedded in Scientology's moral teachings, which stress that happiness hinges on respecting diverse religious beliefs. This inclusive approach is demonstrated in their participation in Christmas festivities, where they even market uniquely branded items like a high-priced CD player, dubbed a clear sound listening system, illustrating their unconventional engagement with religious traditions. Scientologists mark several significant dates, including March 13, the birthday of founder L. Ron Hubbard, and May 9, commemorating the release of Hubbard's book Dianetics, The Modern Science of Mental Health in 1950 which also aligns with the establishment of the first Church of Scientology in your country. Additionally, Scientologists celebrate New Year's Eve on December 31st, using this time to reflect on personal achievements over the past year. Contrary to widespread myths, Scientologists do not worship Zenu, a mythical figure often depicted as a prehistoric intergalactic villain within the law. Instead, Zenu is part of a broader narrative used to explain certain cosmic views within the church, serving as a component of their esoteric teachings intended for higher levels of church membership. Many eons ago, an intergalactic tyrant named Zenu committed a cosmic genocide, annihilating billions of his subjects by casting them into Earth's volcanoes and annihilating them with hydrogen bombs. The spirits of these victims, termed the Tans, endured, albeit brainwashed by Zenu through enforced exposure to fabricated narratives, including pivotal religious icons and creation myths. Scientology doctrine holds that these the Tans persist within all living beings, influencing mental and physical realms. Adherents believe in the potential to unleash the immense power of their inner the Tan, aiming for supernatural capacities as they advance towards becoming an operating Thetan. At this exalted level, an individual purportedly nears divine attributes, capable of feats like telekinesis or perfect culinary intuition. However, the Church of Scientology has never officially acknowledged Zenu's existence and dismisses claims of granting supernatural abilities as misinterpretations. It strictly controls the dissemination of its higher teachings, 
reserving them for those who have ascended to the significant rank of OT3, a status demanding substantial financial and personal dedication. This secretive stance is a stark deviation from the open sharing of creation stories in other faiths. Scientology's foundational belief is that humans are vessels for these eternal alien spirits, with the primary aim of survival, first as individuals, then as species, and ultimately as elements of the cosmos. Scientologists adhere to the concept of the eight dynamics, which map out life's essential facets from personal to cosmic scales. The overarching aim for Scientologists is to comprehend and integrate the eight dynamics into their lives, ultimately reaching the eighth and final dynamic where they experience a mystical union with the infinite, existing simultaneously within all things. This pursuit, steeped in esoteric teachings, often presents as vague and complex, especially when juxtaposed against the backdrop of tales involving ancient alien genocides and cataclysmic events. Scientology doesn't prescribe a uniform mode of worship, instead, it encourages followers to adhere to what's known as the Code of Honor. This code is generally benign, filled with aphorisms such as, never regret yesterday. Life is in you today, and you make your tomorrow, and, be your own advisor, keep your own counsel and select your own decisions. However, some aspects of the code can be more troubling, especially considering the church's reputation and anecdotal accounts from ex-members about harsh tactics used to enforce compliance, such as, never fear to hurt another in a just cause. Additionally, the code of honor includes mandates like never desert a group to which you owe your support, and never withdraw allegiance once granted, which have stirred controversy and reinforced the church's image of demanding unwavering loyalty. Scientologists are often expected to pledge profound loyalty to the church, sometimes going as far as signing billion-year contracts with the Sea Org, the church's elite unit. Allegations persist that those who leave the church are subjected to prolonged harassment by remaining members, highlighting the challenges faced by those who choose to exit this tightly knit community. Such dynamics underscore the complex, often contentious nature of leaving any deeply ingrained community reflecting broader human tendencies toward control and conformity. Scientology doesn't prescribe a uniform mode of worship, instead, it encourages followers to adhere to what's known as the Code of Honor. This code is generally benign, filled with aphorisms such as, never regret yesterday. Life is in you today, and you make your tomorrow, and, be your own advisor, keep your own counsel and select your own decisions. However, some aspects of the code can be more troubling, especially considering the church's reputation and anecdotal accounts from ex-members about harsh tactics used to enforce compliance, such as, never fear to hurt another in a just cause. The term, suppressive persons, SPs, is used by Scientologists to label individuals they consider to be antisocial or detrimental to the church's objectives, encompassing a wide range from historical figures like Hitler to the entirety of the psychiatric profession. Officially, the Church of Scientology claims to harbor no ill will towards SPs, but in practice, this label often serves as a means to quell dissent and isolate critics. Instances of this include allegations of stalking and harassment of those labeled as SPs, highlighted in Louis Theroux's documentary, My Scientology Movie, which depicts him being surveilled by a crew allegedly sent by the Church. This antagonistic stance is notably pronounced towards psychiatry which Scientology vehemently opposes, evidenced by their creation of the Psychiatry, an industry of death museum, critiquing the field. Despite such contentious positions, the Church professes a relatively liberal approach on other social issues. It maintains no official doctrine on matters like abortion or contraception, emphasizing personal choice and autonomy in these areas. L. Ron Hubbard, the founder, explicitly distanced the organization from regulating personal sexual behaviors, signaling a broad, albeit selective, libertarian ethos within Scientology's teachings. While Scientology presents itself as a meritocratic and inclusive religion, L. Ron Hubbard's early criticisms of sexual promiscuity and what he termed sexual deviancy, including homosexuality, cast a shadow over its liberal claims. Although the Church now asserts it does not discriminate based on gender, sexual orientation, race, or creed, asserting a belief that people are spiritual beings where the gender of a minister is not an issue, these proclamations 
are somewhat contradicted by accounts from former members. Allegations persist of discrimination and even attempts to cure homosexuals. Similarly, claims of sexism and misogyny have surfaced from many women once affiliated with the church. In theory, Scientology champions personal freedom and an open-minded approach to moral values, distinguishing it from more dogmatic religious practices. Yet, the practical application of these principles often appears compromised by the internal dynamics and reported controversies surrounding the church. The gap between the public facade and the private practices within Scientology remains a topic of debate and speculation, leaving observers to wonder about the genuine nature of its doctrinal liberality. In the kaleidoscope of modern beliefs where every hue and cry could be mistaken for a divine whisper, the Church of Scientology stands out, not for the luminosity of truth, but for its theatrical mimicry of spirituality. Imagine a cosmic playhouse, where intergalactic dramas and ancient alien sagas are paraded as sacred truths, sold at the steep price of one's reason, and a good chunk of their savings. Here, the pursuit of spiritual freedom often feels like a chase down a rabbit hole, only to find that the rabbit is an illusionist, and the hole, a well-crafted set piece in an elaborate spectacle of smoke and mirrors. As for the teachings that promise liberty and enlightenment, one might say they are as substantial as the paper they're penned on, liable to crumble upon the slightest scrutiny or blow away with the next contradiction that sweeps through their hallowed halls.